guys, it's Adam. Now, a couple of weeks ago, if you follow my Twitter feed, I tweeted about this beautiful build video of uh, a, a, a wonderful woman making a bench top workbench. And the amazing thing is, we know her. This is Laura Kempf. Hi. She's come to the United States. She's <laughs> here in the tested shop, in my shop. Um, and we're going to build something today. Yes. Let's do it. Fabulous. We yeah. uh, we don't have an actual plan. We no. just have an idea. We just you have the problem. You have something you want to build for your shop. Exactly. Okay. Um, because I noticed we both like to use colored tape. Yes. And I always have the problem, how do I store it? Because uh, I have it on a shelf, mm -hmm. like stacked on, on top of each other, and they tend to stick to each other. Okay. And sometimes when I'm in the situation where I need the tape right now, but I only have one hand free, I can't grab the tape and get a piece off. Single-handedly. I, I have had this exact same problem. Um, <laughs> my, my problem is, is that often I put my tape on, for years I put my yeah. tape on spindles, mm -hmm. which means that it was a significant operation to get some tape off. Yes. Or if I wanted the roll, I had to undo this whole exactly. spindle. Exactly, you have to take it. them all out. Giant pain yeah. in the ass. So okay. maybe there's a solution to, maybe not for all tapes, but for the most important tapes that you can have them on the wall, operate them single-handedly, still take them out if you need to take them with you. Okay, so you want a dispenser that allows you to access the tape one-handed, yes. but also be able to remove the entire yes. roll one-handed. Yes, without, without moving all of the tapes. Okay, so I, can you come with, me, come with us? Let's, I want to just show you my tape storage, yes. which is similar to what you described. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you have more levels, that's, right. that's clever. And, and the reason I put the more levels was so that I didn't have deep stacks of any tape. And yeah. this allows me to grab mm -hmm. rolls that are underneath if I need them. Yes, that makes sense. It also allows me to see the greatest volume, but it does not solve the problem you want to solve, which mm -hmm. is being able to obtain a piece yes. of tape. So my, my first idea was to um, do something like, like, like a toilet paper holder, mm -hmm. which is you can roll it and you can take it out. So, so like a, a, a toilet paper holder is a standard, almost like a standard tape dispenser, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's, that's like there's a block and the tape sits in the block and then there's a little perforated thing and the tape comes. So that's able... That's useful for being able to take a piece of tape out, mm -hmm. but not for removing the whole roll. Exactly, and the, the toilet paper thing, they usually go a little bit like this, you know? And oh, the I see. Right You're Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. You're thinking one of those hooks. Yeah, so... But that's not going to work very well. That's great for removing the roll, mm -hmm. but not for dispensing a no. piece of tape at a time. No, exactly. There would have to be a second unit with a blade um, right. where you can cut the... Cut so when we talked about this on Friday, mm -hmm. um, I went and got something that may help us. Wait yes. right there. Yes. On the theory that this, I was thinking what you want is something that can pressure the tape and hold it in orientation. And I was thinking we could machine that, and then I realized that somebody had already solved that problem with that. <laughs> also, I, I never noticed that the uh, inner diam diameter, di mm -hmm. diameter, diameter, diameter mm -hmm. is always the same with tape. That's yes. really interesting. Whether it's one inch or two inch, yes. So it seems to me that this, this business mm -hmm. could be removed and utilized in such a way as to be well, I guess, see, if, the, if your tape is sitting on this yeah. and it's coming across to the mm -hmm. thing, you can either, it can either be set up so that you can grab that piece of tape or mm -hmm. if you want, you can, with one hand, pull the whole thing off and yes. take it with you. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah? Would it be possible to... To because, cut this down? Yeah, yeah, because I would like to have the width it according should, to the... You right. know what I mean? Yeah, it should... It should be. Let's um. What is this spring for? Is that a break of some kind? I'm trying to. Uh, let me torque it. Yes. Oh, cool. It is, oh, but cool. I don't know that that's. This is, you know, for mm. for doing that, but. Is it necessary? Yeah. Let's uh. Let me pull that. Yeah. It doesn't look like. Well, that could come down to half that width because there's still the internal structure. Mm -hmm. Do you, like how, 
steep You're thinking, is the for angle. you it's specifically one inch rolls of tape? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I would think so. But maybe to have one piece of packing tape might be, yeah. might be good. But first, this is the, so that's the easy problem to mm -hmm. solve because it's already thick enough. That's true. Let's mark this. You want to grab that roll of tape? Yes. The yellow? Yes, we certainly can sand them down, but maybe we should start like that. Mm -hmm. Just about that. Do you want to try making the cut? Yes, on the bandsaw? Right. Yeah. Yes. We still have, actually, we still have almost everything we need. There's yeah. still a bit of purchase there. We'll have to sand that down mm -hmm. because, yeah, it's a little harder to get the tape yep. roll on. Um, but once we do, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so that I'm feeling pretty good about. Now we need a, we want a spindle. Um, How about we make it a bit more professional and put a bearing? A bearing? Okay, on hold on. I have bearings. <laughs> You're going to love this drawer. Oh. I can already tell. Yes. Nice. So, bearing skill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing the most expensive first. Yeah, I know. Isn't it just, it's just, oh, no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Uh, yes. This is what we want thrust bushings, thrust bearings. Oh, so yes. So we put a spindle in here with a bolt. Yeah. And then on either side, we have the thrust bearing. Yes. And that keeps it running nice and smoothly. This is, a, I got two different sizes. Actually, I have many different sizes. Yeah. Um, I've yeah. never seen these either. Yeah, isn't this cool? Yes. I just learned about these from Tom Sachs. Uh, he uses them all the time, and so I ordered a whole bunch. So it's a little bearing race and two two guides. Oh, beautiful. And when you put them together, you can tighten yes. it down. You can feel how well it... Wow. That will fit yeah. nicely in there. Mm -hmm. so if we have the bearing race, the thrust bearing, and then it goes on to that. Mm -hmm. But we need a filler for that. Yes. So I need to make uh, some plastic bushing. Um, and how you're thinking three, you're thinking this will hold three rolls of tape. Is that right? Um, the whole thing? You're thinking a uh, dispenser for yeah. three rolls? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now the next thing we want to figure out mm -hmm. is this part. Oh, the blade. Right, because if you want to utilize being able to tear yourself off a sheet, a piece of tape, mm -hmm. we want, ah. Mm. Wow, they've really made this. Kids proof. We really want to utilize this thing, right? Yes. Those blades. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to start taking that apart and yeah. figuring out? Because right now the tape is meant to come across this way, and ah, we want it to right. come from the, the other. other way I mean, to yes, me, I think yes. that we'll take this all the way out and mount it on something that we make out of mm -hmm. plywood, right? Yeah. Okay. Although this is nice. This is metal. It's actually it is, surprising. It is, but I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm kind of of the school. I, if you want to try and make this work, I'm totally fine with that. No. Uh, I'm just always of the school of like, let's customize it and put it That's on the true. shelf. Yeah. Oh, also, you said something else that you wanted this to do. You wanted to be able to take this entire thing with you to a site. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it would be good to have a complete plywood thing. Yeah. Okay. Well. So to start taking that apart, yes. I'm going to make these bushings, um, and we're going to make six of these total. Yes, we're going to make six separate, well, two, composed of three each. Yes. Six times that. Six times one point three, four, five, six. Apparently, I can do it. Okay. So we are going to drill this out with a. Okay. Let's get to some lathing.
All right, so you, you're making six of them. Yeah, I'm making six little half-inch bushings. These should slip nicely on these guys. Oh, I may have to ream them out a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's fine, though. Yeah, I'll probably have to drill them one size up. Yeah. Just so they're smooth. How do you how do you go on this? Um, no, I took it apart, and now I'm thinking, you know, we only really need need this angle and right. the blade. But and there's also now there's one other aspect mm -hmm. to this, which is um, it wants a little bit of surface after the or no, just before it, right? So that it sticks to that. Right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. If you hold it like this. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can just. We bought a whole bunch of these things. I think six total, right? Yes. So I think it's time to start taking them apart yeah. and start cutting some pieces down. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I hate those cheap stickers that only come off. Oh, it drives me way. crazy. <laughs> I have a roll of tape. And the tape comes out to something like this. This is mm -hmm. sitting like this. You need, you can't just have them up against no. each other. You yeah. need to have them, but you could have them against each other if you could reach in and Ah, lift up. So one of the right. things I was thinking of was that if the shelf had a thing like this and then an arm that came down to ah, the tape right. so yeah. that you could lift it up and pull it off yes. and then put it back down again. That way you still maintain a low profile in terms of the distance between them. That's a good things. idea. Would it have to have a different distance to the wall then or it does does that matter if this is the rate? Because it would be at least half the roll of tape. Well, uh, we can start to mock it distance. up with a piece of foam core. Here. Oh, we're going to mock this up right now. This is very exciting. So this is nice. You see, Ooh. go ahead and spin that. It's very wow. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. The thrust bearings. I. I. That's why I ordered so many because yes. I knew that I would be using them for many projects. Okay. So if this is our arm, it strikes me that it could be. Mm -hmm. Right. Like there's a hole like this, yeah. or actually. If that's the line our tape is on, the hole could be here. So you reach out to here, pull it up to this, pull it off. Oh, yeah. Ah, so wait, let's get a second roll of tape just to see how it sits next to itself. Why don't you reach out and see if you can't, if what's the right amount of room? See that? Yes. What do you think? That's great. Is that good? Yes. <laughs> okay, so then the question is, does it come up here and lock? Like, do we want to put a little lock on it, or if, not really, or is it? I mean, if you, uh, you move want it up, you ha you have your hand here, anyways. But you're you gonna you want to be able to grab this roll off one handed. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so we need maybe a little lock and a spring. Is there? We could we could certainly put a little uh, a little catch that goes like that, yes. so that it stays. Yes. And then when you want to put so clearly when you're putting tape back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a one it's a one way operation. Mm -hmm. Clearly when you're putting tape back in, you're coming up with a roll of tape and putting it on and setting it. Yeah. But when you're pulling it off, it's because you're holding on to something and you just need it. Yes. Okay, so this isn't that bad. If if our whole dispenser ends up being about that wide, right? For yes. for three yeah. rolls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? That that would be great. I'm gonna say the width of our box is, let's say, eight inches. 
Sorry, I'm going to go with Imperial. Yeah. <laughs> Those numbers mean nothing. <laughs> they wait, make wait, no wait. sense. <laughs> what is eight inches? Wait a minute. 20, 20 centimeters. I think I uh, I brought you a wooden piece. What the what's the not the tape measure? What's the name for the, like the stick a measure? Yeah, a ruler. Oh. I brought it from Germany, so I, I might I might <laughs> go get that. So yeah, so confused. about about there. <laughs> All right, this there. Is the width of this good. box, and then that we looks can good. put a little handle. Mm -hmm. Got cool. these new magnets, which are countersunk. Oh what? <laughs> yes, isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. So we can put like four of these at the bottom, and then they'll they'll grab each other. Oh, they won't grab each other. <gasps> oh, yeah. These f <laughs> what? They polarize them to be wrong. They have to. They only are they two different kinds? No, is it just one? Oh, I guess this is made to go against metal, mm. not just against. Well, we could do that. Yeah, we could certainly do that. We could with some countersunk screws mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, just the screw itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so with that amount of, if you go ahead and try and pull one off. Oh yeah. With oh, four yeah. of those. Keeping you, yeah, I know, I know, it's real. What is the size of this box? And then we can start to cut the pieces of plywood for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it matters much, would it? About right, how about there? How about mm -hmm. a little bit closer? Ooh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Five inches okay. from the center. Okay. That and this makes, is still eight? This is going to be, it's actually more like ten. Good. Yeah, it's more like 24 centimeters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10 inches, and then actually, you know what? We could go to four inches there. Try that. I think it looks kind of cool if it's more narrow. I agree. It's a bit different than the regular tape dispenser. Mm -hmm. thing. What do you think? Yeah, I like four? it. Four? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means that the extents of our box, if that's four inches, basically eight and a half inches, eight and three eighths. What I'm thinking of is that this sits against the box like this. Yeah. And then we'll have a little slot up here yeah. so that when you lift it, right? Yes. That's, yeah, so it automatically right. stops at the... So we'll need, we'll want a little <whistles> on either side there. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be, right, to, to capture that. Yes. And how would that go to the... That's a good question. <laughs> this is one of those things I usually just start cutting out. Because um, we want a solid connection there. Yeah, like like a little angle, like a little a thing like this. Yeah, but it could just be another, oh yeah, it could be that. Actually, wait. Oh 
Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yes. Right? So that goes like that, mm -hmm. and then we screw that to the back. Yeah. Okay. This is really cool. This is a reamer for um, the 5 sixteenths is 0.3125 inches. Okay. This reamer is 0.3135 inches. So instead of being an exact fit, mm. it gives you an ever so slightly loose ah, fit. Sweet. So that what we can do is we can set these up nice. with half inch spacers and pre-drill the backs of these guys. We can mark and drill these. Perfect. All really nicely without having to worry about alignment, mm -hmm. right? Put the spacer in. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Pulling this. And the spacer is? Thank you. Okay, so. You think we should mark one and then secure this and have the other one? Probably. Maybe, huh? Yeah, probably. It's up to the top. Oh. oh. Go. Okay. Oh, okay. Go. Just for clarity, this is um, B. B, ah, C, C, sweet. and this is M, since I can't remember, M, <laughs> M. All right. Nicely, there is also some adjustability in here. You know what I mean? These can yeah, move around a little a bit little and bit. we want that. Should I hold it from the back or is it fine? I think it should be fine Good. for the most part. These are just, it's just to kind of, yeah. So, Good. 
That's a space. Yeah. Oh, nice. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. It comes up. Yeah. Well, I, will, I, I think I, I will round this over real quick. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's nice. So here's the explanation for how I'm thinking we can lock this in the up position for replacing the tape. And that is what's called a leaf spring. Um, it is a piece of wood, I'm actually thinking UHMW, I have some more flexible plastic. This would come up like this and it would spring into place and hold this up. Um, it requires, actually I think I have the material I need to make these. Um, and we can adjust both their height and how they sit in here. Oh, we don't okay. have to cut slots like this. This oh, is just okay. for this. Yeah. But then all you got to do to put it back down is move that over to the side and it comes on down. That's brilliant. You like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here's how the leaf lock works. Lift up and it springs into the bottom. Lift up, lift up. And then to put it back down, just do that. Now, one of the key aspects of Laura's desire for this tape dispenser is that it be both shop-worthy and mobile. So we've determined it's gonna live on a shelf in the shop that can be mounted somewhere, but that it can be picked up and taken to a location if need be. I'm about to make the shelf that it will sit upon.
um, then, then what we could do is we could practically countersink those right in the right on the edges there. Yeah, I just have to. I I made this mistake already yeah. that you hit you, your own screws, so we have to offset that a little bit. Or just use a real shorty. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. At least to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Look. That's why better. I use the, have the tiny, tiny ones. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to figure out where mm -hmm. those go, there you go. Do you, uh, so they have to go well in the sides, right? Otherwise they are too long? Or they are too long. We can cut them down, certainly, but it's probably better if they go in the sides. And then we have to figure out where those... So it's still, I think, what we still want to do is... is, um, mm -hmm. you know, and then um, perhaps like, you know, one there mm -hmm. and one there. Yep. And then if you drill a quarter inch hole down, yes, that gives us all our registration for all the things. What's a quarter uh, inch? Oh, no, it doesn't. You need to drill a... Um, a smaller one, so mm -hmm. that, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We can go do a pilot hole. Yeah, yeah, so you just want a pilot hole, because then the other side, you want to use this to countersink yeah. and put the magnet in. I'm going to have a handle that comes up uh, yeah. uh, and holds like that. And I have some pieces of steel. I'm just going to like, I'm going to bend them, give them a little tack, and they'll be, this is a template I'm making for cool. exactly that.
Here you are, you're carrying like this whole bunch of things and you need to just mark it with tape, Arrgh, do that. Oh, right, but you actually need the whole roll of tape so you can bring it off. Yes, yeah. look at that, one-handed. <laughs> now it's time to, you know what? I've got the mark of tape on it. I just want to come and here. Yes. Dude, okay, so each one, yup. Yes. Dude. It's a success. That is so awesome. <laughs> That is a great idea. I'm totally mounting it somewhere in this shop. I love how it looks. I love it too. I love the, the circle cutouts on the yeah. side. Um, I'm going to need you to sign. Oh. Let's, sign, let's each sign both please, of them. Okay? Please. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out and building this. A pleasure making this with you. I'm so glad you came out. Sweet. Now I've got to come to Cologne and yes. we'll build something in your shop, okay? <laughs> yes. All right. Whenever you're there, anytime. There it is. <laughs> one more tested one day build with the awesome and inimitable Laura Kampf. <laughs>